It's an unwelcome end to the year for this Plano neighborhood. I came into the back alley and realized the whole entire street had been vandalized with obscene things, awful. We've been 45 years and this is first time happened. Thursday morning, Daryl Chance found a racial slur graffitied on his wife's car. But then when they wrote the black word that we do not use, uh, that was very offensive. The vandal tagged Chance's truck too. They did the crosses, I didn't mind that so much. But he did mind the number 666. He used black tape to cover it and the racial slur. No, I wasn't going to drive one inch with this stuff on my cars. Whoever did the vandalism broke into Stephanie Cruz's storage shed. It's now like this. From there, he took the spray paint used to graffiti homes and cars. The vandal left a toolbox from the shed beside her fence. It was left on display right here, and then he wrote thanks on there. Which made me feel even worse because it's just like, what a jerk. Plano police say a neighbor's ring camera captured images of the suspected vandal. Take a close look. His efforts at concealment, a clear failure. Police have that video and a big clue to the vandal's identity. They were just going through the neighborhood, randomly picking houses and writing stuff. Does not appear to be that any one particular person was targeted in the neighborhood. And all about 11 houses were vandalized. Well, I'm, I'm due next week. Cruz and her family will welcome baby Elise into our sometimes not so nice world. It's just a lot of hate going on right now. Um, it's just a lot. It's a lot of hate when it's so easy. It's so much easier to spread love in my opinion. In Plano, I'm Tanya Iser.